What is financial management functions role of financial manager? Very important. Minimum, if you prepare 12 questions, you will get 65 marks. These are your question paper pattern. If you go for theory, you can skip normal. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adar sir here, lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So now we are discussing the model paper discussion of your topic called accounting. So third sem BCA, you have topic called accounting. You have only one subject that is accounting for your whole BCA. So it is completely different than your course actually. In this the syllabus, as you know, that there are only four chapters, but inside that chapter, you have many topics. Now, in today's session, we will not work out any problems. We will not do anything. Just I'll give you input for your examination. This will be very much useful for your examination concern. So hardly you have almost less than two days for your examination how your preparation must be and what are the areas you are supposed to cover and which are the topics you are supposed to give more importance. Each and everything we will discuss in today's session. First part we call it as introduction part. The second one your blueprint and third one your part C that is a two mark and the fourth one that is part D that is your 15 mark and finally we have topic called discussion or else we can call it as planner. So the part A is nothing but your introduction part. Part A it is nothing but your introduction part. Under introduction part we have topics called financial accounting, financial management, cost accounting and management accounting. These are the four topics you are supposed to cover for your examination. Then each topic will come for how many marks? Now, your question paper pattern, I'll let you know. This will be the new scheme. You will come under CBCS scheme. Your question paper pattern will be two mark into 10 questions. It will be what? 20 mark. Small, small question. What is accounting? What is zero based budgeting? What is budgetary control? What is marginal costing? What is your concept? What is your concept called like money measurement concept? What is business injury concept? Like that small, small two mark questions will be there. Now, next will be 15 mark, four questions, 60. Total, it will come for 80 marks. Again, I'll repeat. Your two into 10, it will be 20 mark. 15 into 4, it will be 60. 60 plus 20, it will cover 80 mark. Now, so this 15 into 4, how the question paper pattern will be. Each and everything we'll discuss at the end of this session. Now, each topic, your whatever 15 marks I discussed, you will get four questions. One question from this, one question from this, one from this and one from this. You cannot skip even one topic. Earlier it was like, I am very good at financial accounting and financial management. I will skip these two topics. You cannot do that. Why? Because every part you will get one problem. Means you are supposed to attend how many questions? Four. Each question will, uh, will be asked from where? each unit, all four questions you are supposed to attend. Now, the next part, your question paper pattern, already I told you, your two mark will be 10 and 15 mark will be four questions. Important theories. So what about your important theories? Important theory in the sense, now, as I told you, you have to attend how many questions? You have to attend 2 into 10 and 15 into 4. Now, these are the theories I'll explain you. Later, I'll come back for what is the marks weightage for this theory. Now, what is financial management 
functions role of financial manager very important what is financial management it will be two mark question if it is a 15 mark then they will ask you role or objective function as well as the role of functions of financial manager very important second one what is ratio analysis or what is ratios advantages and limitations of ratio remember in your examination limitations of ratio is very important now third one write a note on analysis of variances what is variances like labor variances and material variances comes under standard costing then write a note on zero base budgeting again your two mark question then what is accounting explain accounting concept and conventions you know that there are 10 concepts are there which are those a b c d accounting period accrual business entity cost concept and real aspect then going concern matching concept money measurement concept and war objective evidence as well as realization now come back to your convention how many conventions are there four cons conventions are there which are those materiality conservatism consistency so these are the your conventions again i'll repeat materiality convention your uh, full disclosure and conservatism and consistency these are called as your conventions then what is fund flow statement this is also your five two mark question or else if they give you seven mark practical the five mark will be what is fund flow statement question number seven how many questions are there i have given you only 12 questions now what is pb present value or profit volume ratio and bp and mos this is separate this is separate this is separate if it is 15 mark they may ask you all three if it is a two mark out of three any two will be asked what is standard costing and marginal costing what is flexible and fixed budget what is budgetary control advantages and limitations of budgetary control sources of fund are financial management sources of funding financial management means like long term and short term these are the sources of fund sources of fund is all explain material variance and labor variance now how many questions are done total 12 questions are done do you know the marks weightage of this you cannot imagine actually the total marks weightage is minimum 65 mark whatever 12 questions i have given uh, if you think that sir i am bca student i cannot go with the problems what is the solution if you prepare for these 12 if you prepare these 12 question max to max it may come around 15 pages max to max how many pages 15 pages if you prepare for 15 pages what will be your marks weightage your marks weightage will be 65 marks see minimum i am telling minimum 65 it may go up to 80 marks minimum if you prepare 12 question you will get 65 marks my humble request is whatever 12 questions i have given you all are selected one important one picked one if you keep on selecting out of 12 means you are gone if you are preparing prepare all 12 questions i can give you guarantee that minimum 65 marks it will cover never choose never pick out of 12 go for all 12 questions how long does it take each question if you spend one hour 12 question it will take minimum maximum 12 hours small small questions it is easy but also still we keep 12 hours if you start at 6 o'clock in the night 6 o'clock in the evening 6 to night 12 o'clock you can finish almost 6 questions again morning 6 to 12 o'clock you can complete 6 questions total 12 questions are done clear even though you are good at problems my suggestion please go with theory please go with theory yes 
So these are the theory part I have wanted to discuss with you. Then the discussion. What is the discussion now? So I'll tell you your question paper pattern. Now, as you know that 2 into 10, it is 20 marks. Leave that. Then what about your 15 mark? Now, 15 into 4, it is 60 marks. How it will be asked? Now, question number 1, question number 2, question number 3, question number 4. There will be 4 questions are there. All 4 questions are compulsory. Now, in this, you have A and B. In this, you have A and B. In this, you have A and you have B. In this, you have A and you have B. What you are supposed to attend. Now, A and B out of this, you can choose one. A and B out of this, you can choose one. A and B out of this, you can choose one. A and B out of this, you can choose one. Remember, you know A, you know B, you know A, you know B. All four questions are done. I'll not go for another four. It is wrong. You cannot do like that. Out of these two, you have to write any one. Out of these two, one. Out of these two, one. Out of these two, one. You are supposed to attend minimum one question from each. Clear? 15 mark, any one. 15 mark, any one. 15 mark, any one. And 15 mark, any one. Now, so what kind of questions you will get? You will get like for A, this will be accounting, financial accounting. So they may ask you journal entry, cash book, three column cash book are final accounts. Normally they go with journal entry, journal entry, three column cash book and final accounts. And one more will be theory. I already given you 12 theories, out of 12, one theory will be there. Next, for B, this will be your cost accounting. This will be your cost accounting. Under cost accounting, what they will ask? They may ask you cost sheet along with one theory. Cost sheet along with one theory. Then, sometimes they will go for your fund flow. Fund flow statement. So, fund flow may also will come. Next, again for this one, your financial management, financial management, in this one theory will be there. Along with this theory, they may ask you like your budget. Budget. So budget normally comes under management accounting. Now, any budget, it may be cash budget or it may be flexible budget. The last one will be standard costing or marginal costing along with that one theory. So management accounting, this also we can call it as management accounting, almost both are similar. These are your question paper pattern. If you go for theory, you can skip problem. Go for theory, skip problem. Go for theory, skip problem. Go for theory, skip problem. Or if you go for problem, you can skip all the theories. Or here you can go for problem, here theory. Problem, theory. Anything as per your choice, you can go. Now, so this is all about your question paper pattern. At the end, I'll give you a chance to take screenshot. Now, the next one, study planner. What is a study planner? As I told you, you have how many theories? 12 theories. Now, 12 theories. You have tomorrow whole day for preparation. Tomorrow almost you have how many hours? You have 24 hours. And this is your last exam for your BCA for third sem. Now, you have 12 theories. Spend minimum 8 hours. 
according to you you can spend today itself you can spend tomorrow it is left to you so spend 8 hours and complete all 12 theories then rest of the time you can go for problems without theory never come for examination these 12 theories are very important if you did not get any theory nothing to worry just google you will get answers for all the theories because the theories are very familiar actually if you google it you will get every theory question wise google it you will get answer for vidyashramites they already got theory notes in that theory notes you will answers for all 12 questions hope you are clear yes this is all about your study planner spend eight hours for your theory and rest of the time please give time for your problems if you cannot give eight hours together today you give four hours tomorrow you give four hours rest of the time you can go with problems now i'll go back to all the slides please take a screenshot so these are the topics you have your blueprint your theory 1 to 6, 12 total. These are the question paper pattern. These are your study planner. So this is all about your today's session. The session is too small, but I want to make it useful for your examination. I don't go with problems and all here. Why? Because it is already there in your video classes. So. Instead of sitting and watching all the videos, work out one one problem or each problem in each topic, it will be very helpful for you. Complete all the 12 questions before you go for your examination. Then your 90% your tension will be out if you are thorough with the theory part. So this is all about your theory and in the theory I have given ratio analysis. So there are 5 to 6 ratios, please remember the formulas so that they will ask you write any 5 ratios, write any 10 ratios. So remember any 5 ratios with formulas easiest one, please remember that that will be helpful for your examination. Good luck. Thank you.